Hi, welcome to In the Studio with Kate. It's week 17. Um, we're in the middle of January almost now. So um, I'll just share what I've been working on this week. Uh, it's kind of a continuation of something I started, maybe not last week, maybe the week before. Um, but I had made that brush holder and said I was going to decorate it. And then I had a smaller one, which I never decorated. So I took the smaller one first. Okay, here's what it look, looks like. It's just like a gradation of blues. Um, I didn't use any gesso on it, so I had to keep painting it over because it got, it did cover. It didn't even cover very well. I can feel see lots of spots where, but this looks what it looks like open. You know, and there's all the brushes inside, and so it's kind of fun. I haven't. I did a lot more decorating on the bigger one, and I haven't decided if I want to just keep this one, the simplicity of it, or do more. So let me get this one. So it's just, just tight. Oh, that's kind of a crappy looking bow, isn't it? But that doesn't matter. I just tighten a bow to keep it in place. Okay, so here's the big one. Still lots of blues. Both, you don't get to see much of the design when it's rolled up, but I painted it a little differently. I started with gesso, just with both sides of the piece, even the strap, the straps, and then I used a foam roller brush like this to put the paint on. It seemed to um, take the paint much easier with the gesso on it. But the one thing is it is kind of stiff. Even though I used fabric paint, um, it is kind of stiff. But anyways, here's the, the front. And there's what the flap that flaps over. So basically I put all the color on first. Let's see if I can. Wrong. I put all the color on first and then I used stencils and stenciled over it all sorts of fun funky stencils so it just has a lots of patterning and color on it um, but it does really make it stiff um, and I think as I use it a little bit more it'll probably soften up a little bit at least that's my hope um, another alternative would have been to dye it but um, my expertise in dyeing is with wool, not with cotton, so I decided I would just use paint and dress it up in whatever way I could. So, once again, this is it folded up. It's the way I will mostly look at it. And, you know, I could have really worked on getting the design to show up on the part that's folded, but uh, that's too... <laughs> Too much playing that I really wasn't in the mood to do. So there's my paint roller. That's what I spent most of my time doing. Um, and then I went today. I'm going to talk about a supply that I really love. And I have to apologize to my friend Elaine for making her look for this because I finally did find it. Um, I found it in my rolly cart that I take to things. And I will tell you, I looked in that cart ten different times, and it was never in there. Um, the kind of fun thing that I happened is, I think happened, is that there's this little divider. And I think I would look on one side and it would slip under one side. And I would look on the other side and it would slip the other way. So it never got seen. But anyways, what it is, is it's a collapsible water cup. This is what it looks like collapsed. This is what it looks like um, extended. So it's great for taking places. It's pretty sturdy. Um, I guess a cat could probably tip it over because most water covers can be tipped over. I used to use glass glass jars, but I really like these cups. They're made by a Faber Castell, and um, they're about five bucks. Worth it, in my opinion. <laughs> but anyways, that's all I have to share today. Um, I've got some other works in progress, but I'm not ready to share them yet, quite yet. Um, but I hope you are having some time getting into your studio and making some wonderful art. And if you are, I'd love to hear about it. 
just leave me a note in the comments and I'll come up and come to your, your site or your page or whatever and um, check out what you've been doing too. So we'll see you next week.